On the outside, you may not think this looks unusual. Can you open your mouth wide? Oh my, wow. that is very good. But look inward. At those lab coats, there is something new. Uh, oh, good job. This is a medical student I have with me from WSU. They've really taken me under their wing. Meredith Morrow Ocon is a first year medical student. Let me know if anything hurts. Aside to the Providence Clinic in Monroe, not exactly what she originally envisioned as a UW undergrad majoring in international studies. My area of focus was human rights and kind of within that subtrack I really focused on health and healthcare access as a human right and I had this particular kind of aha moment. Then WSU President Elson Floyd had a vision to create more rural doctors with a new Spokane based medical school. It was a bitter fight in Olympia but the bill was signed in 2015 a little over two months before Floyd's death from cancer. Make him proud, I think is something that motivates all 60 of us. Meredith is a member of the inaugural class, one of the first students to get their lab coat. There was not a dry eye in the house. I'm getting kind of choked up even thinking about it. It is novel, it is innovative. Larry Schechter is the associate dean of the school. One of the reasons it, it was created and exists is to begin to provide a workforce for those rural and underserved areas. The program puts the students in places like Monroe. We palpate the right upper quadrant. With general practitioners like Dr. Deb Nalti for what are called weekly intercessions. They get a nice broad spectrum of what being a community family doctor really is like. A part of the four year program which has a goal of keeping people like Meredith, a Bellingham native, close to home. Thank you. Okay. Close to the vision laid out by the man whose name adorns the school he helped to create. Yeah, this is his legacy. In Monroe, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.